RoboCop Rogue City is the latest single player first person shooter game that came out this year and I was kind of excited for it as it looked like a pretty good take on the RoboCop universe. Granted, I'm not really well educated with that universe as I've never seen any of the movies and it just seemed like an overall good game. Really, I don't know where to fully start with this game as I didn't have super high expectations, but I did want to beat the game before making a quick review on it. And luckily, I was able to do that in just about 11 hours or so, 11 to 12 hours, I would say. But there are still some negatives to talk about with this game. The story as a whole, the main story at least, I find that to be a little more enjoyable than all the different side quests that they had. Because if you didn't know, this game, it has a decent amount of little side objectives that you can do while you do the main story. And most of the time, it's not really fully worth it. The side objectives are kind of simple 90% of the time, and it's just talking to someone, writing the ticket, shooting some bad guys. That's really 90% of the game. If you just focus on the main story alone, you could probably beat this game in five to six hours. I took a lot of time to make sure I do absolutely everything in the game, that is everything that I had to offer, and I got almost everything done. I had 26 out of 27 achievements when I did play the game. I did play this game on Xbox, so there is that. And I will say the game wasn't running super smooth on Xbox Series X, but I did change it to performance mode instead of quality mode or whatever it's called. And it performed a lot better at that point. And I turned like motion blur off and desync off. I'm never a big fan of those. But like I said, the game is mainly 90% shooting, but there's still other things you want to do. Inside of every mission, you can gather evidence. And every time you gather evidence, you gain XP. And every, you know, killing people gains you XP. Doing all the side missions gives you XP as well. You get more XP for the side missions inside the main mission compared to outside, which makes not a lot of sense, but let me explain. So inside your main missions, you sometimes will have side objectives that you can go off and do. And if you do end up doing those side objectives, you get a lot more XP at the end of the mission. Because at the end of every main mission, you have an evaluation as Robocop is a cop under a lot of stress. And you're trying to fight out if you're more machine or more man. So you have these therapy sessions and that when that's when you get some XP. But the XP is used for a skill tree, and the skill tree is very interesting, I'll say. I didn't pay too much attention to the skill tree um, for most of the game. I did end up using all my points in engineering in the beginning because it was allowing me to open up safes because you needed level 6 engineering to open up safes. But I've realized that after the first two chapters or so, there wasn't really any safes in the game to be opened which is kind of weird because it takes such a high engineering level to open the safes in the beginning of the game, and you're not even going to be that high of a level. But I focus on mainly the engineering and the vitality, as the vitality would automatically heal you once you fully level it up. But there's a little skill tree system, and I find that to be pretty interesting, I guess. But, you know, you could probably not level it up as much as I did, and you'll still be fine, because this game is rather easy, I would fail. I played it on normal mode because I wasn't feeling too frisky. I didn't know what to expect with Robocop, but the game was quite easy. There's a handful of different weapons that you get throughout the game, and you don't really need to use them. There's a couple, maybe like a rocket launcher or a good sniper that you use towards the end, but for 80% of the combat, I ended up using my pistol. The starting pistol has about 50 bullets when you start the game off, and it has unlimited ammo, and it kills enemies a lot faster than every other gun that you have. So there's no point in picking up other weapons, really, unless you want to get a little stylish with it. You can just use the main weapon the entire time. Plus, when you aim down the sights, you have auto-aim, which is a little overpowered if you ask me, but if you're holding down the sights while shooting multiple different people, it could get a little finicky at times. Like, you kill someone, then it automatically goes to the next person without even you being able to, you know, think for a second. Or Then there's some more negatives besides the guns not feeling too useful, and the game as a whole is very slow. Granted, you are playing as Robocop, so you are going to be slow because you are a robot. There is one upgrade available that gives you a dash, which is something you should upgrade immediately because when you're in combat, that dash will actually come in handy a lot as it'll make the game go a lot faster. And when you're outside of combat, you have to just walk around everywhere. And there's some points in the game where it's more open world, where you're doing a bunch of side quests along with your main mission. But there's some side missions that just don't really seem to have much of an impact. And it's you just walking around an open city that isn't really populated. All the NPCs kind of look the same. They don't really talk unless you walk by them. 
and even then 90% of them won't have a conversation with you minus like the first two chapters again it's like the safe issue the first two chapters had more engaging side quests I don't know what happened like the first couple chapters you help solve a murder crime and go from like point A to point B gathering all this evidence questioning people that felt pretty fun I felt pretty unique but towards the end of it it was like Hey, walk into this building, talk to this guy, kill some guys. The side quest didn't really feel engaging towards the end of the game. The main story feels short if you ignore the side quest. And the NPCs in the city are basically non-existent. I just wanted to say one more negative thing that I forgot to mention. That in the beginning of the game, there's this weird red outline all over the screen everywhere, even during cutscenes. And it seemed to just randomly stop a first few hours in. Yeah, that was a little negative, but maybe it was just a bug. Really, the gunplay is what saves it. The guns feel good. The main story is good for how short it is. Could I justify a $50 purchase for this game? If you're a big fan of RoboCop, I would say definitely try it out because I feel like it makes a lot of good homage to RoboCop despite me never seeing it. I do want to watch it now, but for $50, it could be hard to justify if you're not a completionist because you'll be playing for maybe five hours. If it's on Xbox Game Pass ever or you can ever see on sale i will say definitely get it it was a good time overall but would i pay 50 dollars? Uh, maybe if towards the end game side content was a little more engaging maybe more weapons being a little bit better maybe some weapon upgrades along with some robocop upgrades there's a few quality of life changes here and there that would make the game better but robocop rogue city overall for a first person shooter i'd say it's better than redfall by 20 miles and i'd say it's a little bit better than atomic heart but atomic heart has the benefit of the doubt of it being on xbox game pass where i don't think robocop is going to be on xbox game pass initially but if you're a big fan of robocop i'd say give it a shot thanks for watching this quick review of it that might not be that quick because i ended up talking a lot but yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you next time bye